Hi, Stephen Green here, founder of the Property Investment Academy. Welcome back to this uh, three-part video series. This is video number two. Uh, you might remember in the last one we covered leverage and uh, how you can get the benefit of that. Uh, and in this second video, we're gonna be covering compound effect because if you can understand compound effect and the benefits of it to you then you can really transform your life you can speed up your results so quickly by understanding this very thing so i've created a, a, a model uh, something that I've, I've i've wrote down previously so we're going to have a look at that now and then i'm going to explain here how you can uh, get the benefits of um uh, of, of, of recycling your money and, and also using compound effect. So this model here, um, just to explain that, <clears throat> we've got a uh, property amount down this side uh, here. So um, that would be one property. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the amount's actually up this, this point here. So I'm actually gonna put a nine there and uh, I'm going to put a, a, a one there so you can see that. And then what we've got along this side here is we've got the years. So starting off with zero, which is um, starting off now, and then in one year's time, two years time, three years time, four and five. And we're just going to show you how quickly that can build up um, when you've got a couple of properties, when you've got more than one property and you're getting uh, inflation off that and you'll see how quickly that can, can build up. Uh, after this, there'll also be another model on compound effect and it's just a simple uh, example of, um, of you just putting in uh, £1,000 and, and just seeing how quickly that grows over, over 20 years through compound effect. This model here, looking at it now, so I want you to imagine that you've got, let's say that you've got uh, £20,000 for a deposit to get started with property. So you've got £20,000 and uh, you want to get started, you want to put that down as a deposit so we, we, we're going to say that it's a, um, a, a 60,000 pound house, <clears throat> which uh, you can buy here in the Northeast. Uh, in your area, that might be a little bit more expensive, but I'm going to use the example of the type of properties that I'm buying in my area. So uh, 60,000 pound. And if I was putting in uh, 20, 25% uh, of that, that would be uh, 15,000 um, pound. And then that leaves us a little bit left over for sort of fees and uh, solicitors and, and, and bits like that, maybe it's a light renovation. If you're thinking, well, I haven't got 20,000 pound, don't worry about that right now because on our training events, uh, on the One Day Property Accelerator training, which you'll be able to see, there'll be information uh, in the link, uh, if you attend our one day training, I can actually show you how to get started in property without any money at all. So don't let that be a concern if you're thinking, well, I haven't got £20,000. So in this uh, scenario, you've got £20,000 to invest. So you're going to buy your first property. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shoot over on the next page because I'm going to be doing one of three arrows and I want you to make sure you, you stay with me and you know what that means. So within them boxes, I'm gonna blow it up now just so you can see exactly what I mean. Uh, and in the boxes, I'll either be doing an arrow like that, an arrow like that, or an arrow like that. So what we're saying here is if I do an arrow like that, that means the property market, it didn't go up, um, it pretty much stayed the same. If there's an arrow like that, we're saying uh, we had an, an increase in, in, uh, in, in properties. And if we've got an arrow down, it means we had um, a, a bit of a recession or a dip or something like that, which you get within the property cycle. So you're clear on those, uh, those three there. So we're gonna jump back over. This is the first property that you're able to buy and you're gonna put your deposit into that house. Now, as long as you buy this property below market value of at least 20%, that means you're going to be able to remortgage the property after 12 months. So if you can get a 12 months product, now products change all the time, there's things coming on and off the market. Um, after 12 months, remortgaging that and pulling your money back out to use for a second property. So the first property that you buy, you've bought it below market value. And this property is actually going to buy you 
your second one. So because we bought it below market value, uh, it's already higher than that value. So it allows us in year one, because remember we're starting off at zero. So after 12 months, we can get our money back out of the first one, meaning we've now got two properties after just 12 months. So um, yes, it will take a, uh, maybe it's eight weeks or something to remortgage that money, um, but little, just over a year, you'll be able to have uh, a second property. So this money now, the deposit out of this one, goes into this one here. Now, as long as we follow the exact same steps and we buy it 20% below market value, because that's the amount that you're going to be putting in, that's your deposit amount for a single house anyway, um, with current products that are on the market at this time, you'll be able to get your second house. Now, with this one here, we've bought this one um, below market value again. So we're at the end of the, the 12 months, we're able to remortgage this one, and then this one goes on to the third one. So you get the gist of that. As long as you buy below market value of that 20% each time, we can actually use that money and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna be able to get another one with it. Now, let's say that um, this, this first one that you bought, you've took the money out of it year one and uh, after that 12 months, it didn't really increase, so it pretty much stayed the same. And we're gonna say it done that for a couple of years. So let's say the market didn't really move much. Um, you've got your money back out, you put it onto the second one, but it now actually stayed still. Now, the way that I like to do this is in the first year when I know I'm gonna remortgage it, I don't want to be tied into a product that's a couple of years where I'm gonna have uh, early repayment charges. So I like to go for a one year product um, to get that down. Now, after we've got the money back out, I then like to fix it for as low as rate as possible, especially at the moment why interest rates are really low. Uh, and then I'll try and fix it then for maybe it's a three year product or even longer. That way um, I'm keeping that rate low for a, for a few years and I've got the cash flow out of it, which I'll explain in a minute. So we're gonna say this property allowed us to get that one and that one allowed us to get that one. So after two years, we've got three properties and we're gonna say this one stayed the same for a couple of years. And then this one allowed us to buy our fourth one. And then that one allowed us to buy our fifth one because again, we've bought it below market value. And this one allows us to buy our sixth one. If these have been going up just a small amount, the maybe has been only going up a modest two or 3% a year, too insignificant to say that they've, they've, they've had a real jump, but those building up a couple of percent a year, and then we could have a strong year, meaning now, I'm going to say that one went the same for that year. And then we're going to say that we've had a bit of an increase. So all of these properties now are, uh, are going up. So we've now, in the fifth year, this property takes us to, to number five. And this one takes us to number six. So let's just say these stay the same for a bit now. What we've got now is because this one's gone up in value, of, um, uh, of over that 20% from what we first bought it from, we can actually take the money back out. Meaning this one buys us another one, this one here buys us another one, and this one here buys us another one again. So you can see after year five, that we're actually at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're at nine properties after year five. Now into the sixth year, if you've bought all of these again, below market value, then the next year, you're gonna have all of these going on to that number again. So on the, on the following year, if you've got um, uh, these extra four here in, in the next year, then you're gonna add an additional four properties. So you could be at 13 properties at the six, six year point, and you can see how quickly that starts to build. Um, so it's a little example of compound effect and how your property portfolio, property portfolio can build some real momentum. Now, um, there's going to be, um, if, if you have a look now, there'll be another example of compound effect of just putting in a thousand pounds. So uh, the model that you're about to see, 
Uh, and this is an example of somebody putting, uh, investing a thousand pound and they're getting a 10% ROI, 10% return on investment. And they're leaving that money in so it builds each year. So on year two, they start getting 10% of the 1,100. So if they've got a thousand pound at the start, they've got 1,100 the, the following year. They're then getting 10% on the 1,100. Now, most people think, after 10 years, if you're getting a 10% ROI, then your investment will have doubled. So if you put a thousand pound in, you'll have 2000 after 10 years. And then after 20 years, you'll have uh, 3000 pound, but it doesn't. As you can see in the model, that through compound effect, we have over £6,000 from a single £1,000 investment. Um, and that is the benefit of, of compound effect and property. So uh, hope you've got something from that again, and that's been uh, insightful for you. Uh, we're, gonna we're gonna come back for the third video, and that's gonna be on my uh, my own personal model and that's the property recycling strategy so feel free to ask any questions on that uh, I know there's quite a lot of information so if you're a little bit unsure feel free to ask uh, on our training we do go into this in some real depth so there's there's a few hours spent on this to show you exactly how to uh, how to structure your property portfolio and how to get uh, leverage and use compound effects so uh, thank you for joining us as, as again, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you, Stephen.